Greetings hockey fans. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, board game Inside the Crease from Inside Sports. Just give a little overview of how the game works and why it is um, a game that has made the cut in my uh, list of hockey games that I'll play. So first of all, um, the game is not driven by dice. It is driven completely by fast action deck cards. Uh, there are no charts other than an injury chart and a uh, timer chart. And all the action comes off the player cards. Now you can see the player cards come in the team colors and they're very easy to read, uh, very well laid out as far as the readability, the fonts, the size of the, le of the lettering. And the information on the cards, now up here on the, the top row, Phil Esposito, this is how many minutes he plays even strength, power play, and shorthanded penalty kill. And this is the shift rating. He takes 13 two-minute shifts a game, if you really want to be precise and, and try to make sure they get the right amount of ice time. Now, on the action cards, there is a 1 to 40 number which will um, determine which column you're looking at on, on the player card. So the, he, this is the even strength column. This is the rebound column or a shot that they get from an assisted pass, which is like the equivalent of a, of a, a, a great pass. And uh, this is their power play column, shorthanded column. Now there are six types of shots in the game. Shot 5 is going to have the best chance of scoring off the goalie card. The shot 0 will have no chance of scoring off the goalie card. The best you can hope for is to get a rebound. And there are giveaways, so if the player coughs up the puck on a giveaway, the opponent is going to have a breakaway. There is a pass, which is just um, the entire uh, action in a 20 minute uh, 20 second segment. Each action card encompasses 20 seconds of action. So the only action that's going to come up in that segment is just going to be a pass to another player. There is the assisted pass, which is, um, as I mentioned, it's like the equivalent of a great pass. It's going to lead to a shot to another player from his assisted pass column, which will have a better chance of scoring. And finally, there, has, there is uh, icing, which will only come up uh, with a number in the shorthanded uh, penalty kill column. And what's good about the, uh, the 1 to 40 number, it can really uh, dictate the type of player um, that you're looking at. And it allows you to, to quickly evaluate a card as to uh, what type of player it is. So in the case of Phil Esposito, uh, well, I mean, he scored 68 goals, but first of all, he takes a lot of shots. So out of the 1 to 40 numbers at even strength, 27 of them are going to be shots on goal, and none of them are going to be uh, shot zero, which have no chance of scoring. Whereas um, someone like Burt Marshall, a defensive defenseman, he only scored one goal on the season, doesn't take a lot of shots. He only has one, uh, one chance, uh, shot three, and uh, one chance, if you it, it draw a number two, of a shot zero. And other than that, most of the time he's going to be passing, most of his numbers are in the pass column, he's just going to be making a pass off to, 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 a, to a teammate. And he has a very slim chance of making a uh, assisted pass. Whereas players uh, with a lot of assists, like uh, Esposito or uh, even Ken Hodge with 55 assists, they have, you know, um, he has 10 numbers. Esposito has 11 numbers of him making, uh, a chance of him making an assisted pass to a teammate for a better shot in their assisted pass column. And also, you see, um, Esposito has all 40 numbers are going to come up in the assisted pass column. <clears throat> Whereas someone like Burt Marshall, if he gets an assisted pass, only 25 numbers will fall into shot columns, 
the rest are considered to be wide shots that miss the net which would be 26 to 40 and in that case it's going to be a loose puck now the players also have a loose puck rating which will be matched up against another player uh, whenever there's a, a, a wide shot uh, or a um, or a hit which is going to cause a, a loose puck <coughs> now players with a lot of power play goals like uh, Esposito are going to have most of their numbers stacked up in the, the good shot numbers in the power play column. So out of 40 numbers, he's got 32 at, in the best two shot chances uh, in the power play column. Only coughs up the puck on two numbers, and the rest of the numbers are going to be an assisted pass to a teammate. So Esposito is so good that he doesn't um, give up any generic passes, whereas something like Burt Marshall... The majority of his numbers are just a generic pass to, uh, to a teammate. It doesn't uh, result in a shot. And then uh, here's the shorthanded column. Esposito had four, four shorthanded goals. So he's got some good numbers, in uh, shot numbers in the shorthanded column. Now the thing about uh, inside the crease is that even if a player did not score a shorthanded goal, these number in parentheses are power play and shorthanded goals. So you see Esposito had 14 power play, 4 shorthanded. Hodge did not have any shorthanded goals, but he still has chances to get a shorthanded goal. And even someone like Burt Marshall, who didn't have any power play or any shorthanded goals, he still has a remote chance to get a power play goal, and he still has a remote chance to get a uh, shorthanded goal is one chance out of 40 and it's going to be on shot one which is going to be uh, you know very hard to score on a goaltend. And I, for example here's uh, Gilles Joubert on Boston now this cars, these numbers correspond to shot five through shot zero on the shooter card so if uh, Burt Marshall did have a, sh a, a, a shorthanded shot in the one column out of a hundred, this is a one to hundred number off the fact He's only going to have a one to three chance of scoring a shorthanded goal. But just about every player, regardless of the, whether they had a power play or shorthanded goal, will have a remote chance of um, scoring one of those uh, type of special team goals. Now going over here, you can see what I like about this game too. It has a lot of um, defensive ratings, which are subjective ratings, you know, until you get into the era when there is the um, the sulky trophy for def for uh, defensive forwards you get an idea of, of who the better players are and then uh, into po possibly like the last 20 years when the NHL starts uh, tracking takeaways and turnovers and all that type of thing so they have an overall defense rating and a rating in parentheses is a shorthanded rating so uh, using Esposito on a penalty kill his defensive rating goes up there's a takeaway rating, a hit rating. Let's see, now Burt Marshall, defenseman, has a better hit rating. He has a five, and he has a better takeaway rating, four. So while he may not be a, a great scorer or a passer, and plus he has a uh, defense rating of five, which does go down one, because the Islanders were a bad team that year, so maybe they're not that good on a, on a penalty kill. This is 1973-74. Uh, and as a defenseman, he's got a good block rating of six, Esposito as a forward only has a block rating of one. And there's also a breakaway rating, five for Esposito, and defensemen generally uh, have a, a breakaway rating of zero. And for after the fact assists, Esposito eight, Burt Marshall one. As you can see, he only had seven assists in 69 games. And let's see what else. Then there's the, uh, the penalty rating. Now, um, these cards are more a recent set, so they will have the newer uh, penalty ratings. The penalty uh, system had changed a little bit. I forget it, at, at what point they, they changed it. But even if you have an older card set with the older penalty rating, you can still go on uh, Inside Sports website and get the numbers um, if you want to play with the updated uh, penalty system. 
So I'm not going to go into that right now, but um, it is a lot more detailed and a lot more precise to the type of penalties that a player did have. So if a player had more misconducts, had a match penalty, and if he had like a misconduct that went along with a minor, it will be reflected in the uh, in the new penalty ratings. So they've really done a good job of uh, individualizing the players as far as their defense, their takeaways, the hits, the blocks. It's a lot more defensive ratings than perhaps you find in uh, in other games. So that is an overview of the uh, of the player cards. Now, as far as the fast action deck goes, um, every time a player gets a puck, you're going to refer to the uh, the pass to column, and it's going to tell you it's going to make a pass to a teammate. And over here is going to be the one to forty number. So it's a pass. It could result in a shot. It could result in just another pass. It could result in a uh, a giveaway if you know if the, if the player is usually like a fourth line or not a good player he'll have more uh, giveaway uh, numbers cough up the puck and lead to a breakaway or it could be a pass or as I mentioned it could be an assisted pass and every time you're referring to this pass uh, to number there's always going to be a defensive check right here now a defensive check could be something where the defense prevents whatever result this is up on the top line. So it could be a takeaway, you're going to check the right, uh, refer to the right wing's takeaway rating. It could be a, uh, a hit rating, which um, you can refer to the hit rating and it could cause a loose puck. It could be an interception reading in which you're going to refer to the, the defense rating of two opposing players. Like let's say if it's uh, Ken Hodge is the right wing, you're going to refer to the uh, the um, defense rating of the left wing and the left D combined. And you're going to look at the number here, and that will tell you whether the, the two def defensive players intercepted the puck and prevented whatever the action is up here. This third column um, under the blue shading is if you happen to be playing in a... Uh, four checker zero a defensive shell then you'll refer to to this result and then the shots uh, the one to uh, one to a hundred shot number will appear here in the green column and again that will also have a defensive check so it's possible for a, a defensive player to block the shot you can refer to the uh, the block rating which we showed you right here now if a player happens to get a rebound and wear a rebound shot is going to come when you're looking at the 1 to 100 shot number it could fall into the goalies rebound range in which case you will look here and it'll tell you um, you're going to match up the offensive right wing against a defensive left defenseman um, their loose puck rating and the player with the higher number will either get a shot on goal in which case you'll refer here to this number on the player's assisted pass column or if it goes to the defense you don't need to refer to that number the defensive left defenseman has grabbed the rebound instead of the offensive player now uh, another thing I should mention is um, I'm looking at the older version goalie cards as well here now at some point um, a couple years ago they did update the goalie cards to include variable ratings for if the goalie is hot or if he's cold. Now if you have an older set like I have here you can download the updated goalie cards if you want to play with those. Uh, you can uh, download those from the website. So even if you have an older set and you want to play with, with, the, new with the new version of the goalie cards you can still get them you know, if you've already, uh, already, bought, the, uh, already bought the season. So coming back to here, we have the, uh, whenever there's going to be a uh, loose puck, it'll show you the, it's going to the home right D. Sometime it will have a matchup like it does here. Sometime it'll just give you an automatic result. And if, whenever there's a possible penalty, which the possible penalty will be up in this um, column, you refer to a 1 to 38 number on the player's penalty range. Now some players... 
uh, their entire penalty range will have numbers from 1 to 38. Some players will not go all the way up to 38, like in the case of Esposito, um, he only has a minor from 1 to 23. Anything from 24 to 38, there's no number there, so in that case there's no penalty. So you just continue play. Uh, now with the penalty you read across to here and it'll tell you the top of uh, if there's a minor it's roughing with a possible injury uh, to the opponent or if it's a major it's a fighting penalty and there's some rating, readings that are just on the this side of the card uh, face off after the fact assist uh, rating whenever there's a giveaway and you have to uh, see who gets the breakaway it'll tell you in this case it's the left wing if his breakaway rating is five or better so in this case Esposito's rating was uh, breakaway rating is a five he would have a breakaway chance and you, in that case you're going to refer to a um, a shot against shot five column on the goalie and numbers 90 to 100 will also be a goal uh, on a breakaway um, if there's some re um, results where it calls for a dump in, it tells you who the two uh, players you're going to match up uh, on a loose puck, on, the, uh, on their loose puck rating to see who takes control on a dump in. Sometimes the dump in will just say the goalie picks it up and gives it to the defenseman. So, as you can see, there's a lot of variables, a lot of things that can happen, in, um, and I will. Uh, I will do another video with a, uh, a sample period of play, but you can get the the way the, the the player cards are set up. There's a lot of individuality as far as defense ratings, as far as um, designating the better passers. The better passers are going to have more of these assisted pass numbers. The better goal scorers are going to have more. Um, 1 to 40 numbers stacked up in the higher shot 5, shot 4, 3 numbers. And uh, the players who are, you know, maybe fourth line goons or something, they're going to have more giveaways where they just, they, they can't skate with the puck very well and they, they cough it up to an opponent. So I think I've uh, covered most of the basics of inside the crease hockey. So stay tuned for a sample, uh, a video on the sample play. Thanks for watching.